Uh, and by the way, robot worker speed two is almost done. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of feeling like we need to extend the blue science line. I think that time has finally may come, may have come. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm feeling it, guys. But do I feel it enough? That's the question. Uh, so what's going to need to happen is going to need more engine units being made up here. And then I need to make more blue science here. So as you can see, red chips are just completely back up uh, because now they're getting... We'll see if it's maybe limited by something, but it's probably not. Oh, it's limited by... So there's still not enough petroleum coming through the pipes here, so maybe we'll solve that first. Um, Alright, so... Worker robot speed is done, and the lot next one takes like production science back, so... Um, just to give you an idea of how fast they're going now, I'm just gonna plant uh, this. There you go. Much faster. They can get even faster than that, but that's a little bit later down the line for science. Uh, I guess we can do flamethrower damage. So let's do, let's do that. Let's do some of the damage researches. Is there anything like really particularly pressing that I need to do right now? I don't think there really is. Because everything starts getting into some, yeah. So the inserter capacity bonus now just makes the stack inserters better. Um, it costs a lot of science though. But we don't, we will not see another bonus for regular inserters until um, here. So it's just, it's not probably not happening for the, a lot of this run. Uh, we're gonna need fluid wagons eventually. We're gonna need modu modules as well soon, because uh, that gets us automation three and some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like petroleum is still an issue. So let's let's go have a look. Let's go have a quick look at what the hell the problem is over there. Because I th remember we we kind of tried to solve it and we didn't really solve it. So actually, and speaking of which, I'm gonna do one more thing actually before we go anywhere else before I leave you guys because one more big project all right so light oil is not coming through and it's because the pump stopped and the reason the pump stopped is because we had now 15k or 20k light oil so we're actually using it we're using it that's the thing um which is good and bad in a way because I mean we don't have any other source of oil so the way you solve this one is very simple we make more things to make oil There's, there's really no way around this. You, we need more oil, so. Um, you need more oil, you need more oil. And this is one of those pollution generating structures that, whoops, you, we're always gonna need to use, you know? Uh, I think we're almost done with these things. All right, so, and as long as these aren't stopped, which they are not stopped, they're going as fast as they can. It's just they, we need more Oh, it's also not connected on the other side. That's just the nature of it. Like it's a, uh, uh, we're we're using more resources. You gotta, you gotta kick it up a notch. You gotta email Notch and uh, tell him his game sucks. No. Uh, Minecraft, I'm sure, is good for some people. Man, Minecraft got ruined for me at some point. About the time that there was an overabundance of really weird mods for it, and then literally nobody could play that game without having a bazillion mods. I I, I, I kind of like when games are nice vanilla, like this game. This game is very nice vanilla. Like it's just you know, and the devs improve and stuff, and then Minecraft got boring. I think because it just didn't do that. Why am I talking about Minecraft? I don't know why. Anyways. So this should help our production along. Uh, and if we need more, we'll just put more down, but you know, that's good. But the, the key is to have it so that the storage tanks are always kind of, not necessarily running low on these resources, but um, they should be using it up. And, and we should, like, we there should be no reason we don't see our, our 
um, our petroleum go up because we want the petroleum to go up, you know. All right, so uh, I'm gonna make like two more. Uh, um, I'm gonna make like two or three more things for oil, and then uh, we're actually gonna do something very special in a second here. And I'm gonna actually just get a bunch of materials for it because might as well. All right, we need green chips. Uh, let's see here. One, two, maybe three more. I don't know. Because then oil is going to become a problem. That's the problem is we're now mining it. We're taking it out of the ground at a much accelerated rate. And and the thing is, a lot of things will use oil. So, you know. Fucking rest in pepperonis. What can I say? All right. We need, uh, we need more steam engines. So one of the pro one of the things that was suggested to me was that I have a lot of boilers working, but I don't need necessarily another steam line. I can just store the steam in in a container. And you're gonna basically your first reaction I know is gonna be to flip out and go like, what? How, how can you store steam to use as power? Well, apparently one of the weird kind of rules of this game is that it doesn't actually you don't lose heat on um, on things like steam engines. You don't lose heat. Uh, it's a bit odd, I know, but, you know, it's just the way the game works, so just deal with it. I'm sure you'll get over it at some point. Um, so, what we're going to do... So, I actually thought it was actually a pretty good idea. It, it, I actually like the idea, so we're going to actually do that. I'm just going to make sure I have a bunch of things. So, the way this is going to work... It's going to be very simple. Um... I'm removing the line at the bottom. So the, the the way I currently do things, and the way I've always kind of done it, is I have these steam and I have these uh, boilers working, but the boilers kind of work at whatever capacity that they want to. Kind of like they don't really do anything. It, like they're they're basically. I think what the problem here is that they're generating pollution because they're going all the time, but they're not burning coal necessarily as fast because the coal demand isn't that high. Um, but this is not an optimal way of doing things because of the simple fact that yeah, it looks like Patron is going up too. It's not an optimal way of doing things. Um, and it, it, for the simple fact of no other reason than I think it's generating full pollution. I think I don't think the pollution scales back. I think this is the resource usage scales back. So one of the things I actually should always strive to do in my runs is actually to um, make it so that I don't lose... Well, I, I'm not, like, generating a bunch of useless pollution, you know? And I think that's actually what I'm doing. Uh, unintentionally, actually. Which is causing them to attack me, as you can see. So. I need to do this. All right. We're just, uh, we're gonna just wrap up, uh, this guy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually store our, uh, excess steam in some, uh, in some containers, and then we're gonna put, hook up a shit ton of, uh, steam engines to that, and that's how we're gonna run our base kind of a thing. It's gonna be weird, um, and, and that, like I said, that's gonna actually kind of key into a concept that we're gonna do a bit later, but it's whatever. So we need steel plates for this. So I don't think I actually need anything else there. I think we're good. So we need to make a crap ton. So we have a crap ton of steam engines, and now we need a crap ton of uh, storage tanks. I'm not sure how many storage tanks. I haven't quite decided that. I think the amount I have for oil is good enough. Like, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So let's get make, like, I have three going right now. Maybe, like, four. Four is a good number, I guess. Also, why do I have light oil barrels with me? Probably because I took them off the line and I probably should just give it to a train or something. Alright. Because everything everything in our base uses oil and it's very sad. Alright, so... You can also see that some of the oil is starting to run out, so that's, that's not good. Fuck, really? Why, why am I not allowed to just put it there? It's uh, the saddest thing I've ever seen. All right, fine. Just gonna unload it onto the line, I guess, and then it'll use eventually. Okay, um, so problem number one is that these steam engines appear to be using a little bit more than they should be. Um, 
Also, our cola has gaps in it now. So let's see how our power is doing. Power is still pretty good. So I may actually not want to do that. I actually definitely want to do that anyways. Oh yeah, there's some issues here. Oh shit. Okay, some of these things have seen better days. Alright, flamethrower damage increased. We will increase flamethrower damage again. I'm now debating, because look at our power usage now. Yeah, this is why there's spikes and probably our entire factory shuts down. And probably these laser turrets don't actually fire at the optimal speed uh, either. But actually, it, it works out, because as long as the idle is like kind of low-ish, uh, it's fine. So I'm going to do this now, because I, I really actually want to do this before building the wall. And uh, that's how we do things here. Everything is uh, dictated by the wall. All right. So we're going to have these. So you see how there's actually some steam coming out of the end. And the reason why there's some steam coming out of the end is because these boilers are working. But they're working at um, kind of like half capacity most of the time. Um, so what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to... Get them over here. Apparently that one apparently this one power cable powers the entire base. So basically don't fuck with that power cable. Oh shit, I can't really bring it over there. Yeah. So this is steam number one. And we need to actually bring it in its own kind of... Because there is actually a limit to how much can be put into pipes. So that's something we have to take into account. Um, so we're, But it should be actually pretty simple, like this. So we just kind of put... One, two, three, whoops. Three, four. That should be good enough. Alright, so we have... Steam pipe number one. We'll just kind of go into here. That's good. So now these are now filling up with steam, which is good for us. Uh, and the other side is going to do the same thing, I think. Maybe, maybe actually we could just hook it up to the same system. Actually, you know what? I actually don't. I don't care. I was a little bit concerned about this, but now I'm kind of not because actually it seems to be working out much better than I thought it would. All right, so we gotta do the same with up here, because, like I said, that the steam just kind of connects, and so anything it doesn't use, this is the excess that comes out into here. Uh, and by the way, I've never done this before. This kind of setup in my life, so if it fails, uh, you can blame the internet. It's gonna be the internet's fault, and this is literally the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's just getting worse all the time, isn't it? All right. All right, they're not actually connected yet. Okay, so there you go. So now these are going over here to these steam engines. Or sorry, not steam. They're not steam engines yet. They're about to be though. And uh, we just put them down. Seriously? All right, let me kind of just do something like that. Now, I'm not sure if, like I would like this to be the one that it uses only if it has to, but I don't know. That's, I, I think that's the only problem with this, is I think that they will all prefer to run. Which is not great. I, yeah, I, I think, I think there is one flaw with this plan, and that is like, the steam engines just are gonna say like, oh, I'm hooked up to your network, that means you want me to run all the time, right? 
but whatever. I guess we'll see, won't we? Uh, we gotta do something like that. Yeah, see, they're running right now. It's a question of will this will the steam in these containers go down? I mean, what what might be nice is to have this run off of uh, its own network, kind of a thing. Yeah, it's 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 actually already dropping in steam usage, but I think we it's I think it's because we kind of need more over here. Okay, so uh, there's a problem here, and that is that that I put the light oil in, in through here, so that's not great. So we're gonna have to bring the light oil up. Fuck. <laughs> oh boy. And then there's the oil here. Alright, this actually sucks. Uh... Alright, how do we get this to over here? The, the fucking $500 question. Um, can I just do something like this? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, unfortunately we need to kind of... We did it! Actually, no we didn't. Alright, fuck it. We're doing it the horrible way now. Because for some reason I keep now changing my mind on things and doing things like this, so... Alright. Because remember, we can't have a regular pipe connect with one of the steam pipes. Uh, if we do that, then we're in trouble. So, this is kind of how I'm trying to work this out. Um, kind of have to add auxiliary power sort of a thing. It's, it's weird, I know. Uh, let's see, where's my pipes at? That's oh, up here, of course. Because I ran out of, like, all of them. Because we were making some different machines, too, so... Um, I like I don't actually have a great system for for doing pipes like that. I, I, I will be the first to admit and also our copper is actually starting to run out um, Holy shit completely running out. I mean we still have this patch here. That's the that's one good thing So I can actually start eating from that right now if I wanted to That's the first nice thing about the way I've set this up. All right Fortunately, this is actually not in the way so it's actually fine. Alright, that's nice. And actually, what am I doing? This entire thing can go. I don't even know why I was building around this. Alright, and then this will plug into the bottom one. And, oh, also we can make a pump here. I forgot. Because we, we want it to be one way, I forgot. Um, so, one of the things that's nice about the way how fluid dynamics works is that you can make one-way pumps. Uh, or, sorry, that's, I mean, that's what a pump is, it's one way. So, it's actually a good way of uh, handling a situation like this where we don't necessarily want it to go through the other direction. The steam only comes this way. It uses what it needs to and doesn't take any more from the top. It's own, its its own beast. All right. Yeah, this is kind of one of the issues that I have. So yeah, you can see that the coal is running completely out. Uh, and it's doing that for one reason, and it's because they're actually running at full power right now. Um. The reason we're running at full power is because we just added, uh, we have these stupid ass, uh, uh, steam pipes. But the way, what I'm doing right now will probably actually re repair that because it'll, yeah, you see what I mean? It's, it's now running at full capacity because it's using more fuel now. Uh, yeah. The game's weird, yo. But I know why it's doing it. Because now there's like, uh, we now have steam storage, which is something we didn't have before. 
Uh, yeah, because it's now it's now using more and more uh, stuff now. But now it's luckily kind of done with that. Um, I'm gonna remove these. Because ironically, this might be all we need. I don't know if it's ironic, but it's something. I'll tell you that. So yeah, this is something I, I did kind of anticipate that would maybe happen later on in this run, which is that um, these the, 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 they will eat coal so fast that like they're not going to be working uh, at a decent pace anymore. So, But it looks okay. It actually looks fine. I, it's starting to get to the end again. It's just uh, it needs a bit of time. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. I mean, you, 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 you know what we could use? We can use now the new priority splitters. Uh, I'll put priority to the left. Yeah, so if I do this, look at that. Okay. Thank you, developers, for adding that to the game recently. That actually helps. So it will prefer to give my boilers uh, coal rather than the other crap coal. So, other crap in the base. Which is nice. Nice that they did that. Yeah, you know, we also have filters. By the way, I have no idea how to use most of that stuff right now, so... Uh, it's just the way it goes. Alright, so, these are now full. Um, and like, all I really have is, I'm just gonna make more steam engines, I guess. So, yeah, so I know, I know you're gonna, someone's gonna fucking complain that it's not realistic to store steam in a, in a container and why does it lose heat? Well, if you actually look at the temperature, the temperature is a perfect 165 degrees Celsius and, and in the world of Factorio, yeah, you don't lose heat from putting things into metal containers for some reason. I don't know why, but you just don't. So as you can see, it actually has uh, used more of the the steam engines now, so we're actually pretty good. So, you see this entire line? Fucking gone. We don't need it anymore. Because I actually don't think we do need it. To be perfectly frank. I, I, I think that um, running it off the steam engines, we're just making the boilers that we ex have existingly, uh, they're gonna just use more. Um, they're just gonna use more coal, but we're, we're, okay, so essentially what we've done here, for anyone who doesn't understand what the fuck I just did, we're, the steam is heated up, right, and then you put them into boilers, and, uh, so you put them into steam engines, and then they, they do their thing. Um, we are now storing some of that steam in steam engines, so the excess from these machines, these boilers, it's going to work a little bit faster, uh, but it's putting it into these, uh, we're, we're making be basically a better use of the resources that we that we have at our disposal, kind of a thing. So, these generate pollution of like 27.6923 or whatever the fuck it is. They generate that no matter what you do. Um, it, 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 they will... As far as I know, that's how it works. I don't think there's anything you do to necessarily stem it. So that's why I'm doing things like this. Because someone actually suggested, and I said, you know what, that's actually not a bad idea. And I think it'll actually reduce pollution. Um, our pollution cloud is pretty bad actually right now. It, it has a lot to do with everything. So the steam engines themselves actually don't make pollution. It's, it's not the steam engines that do the pollution. It's everything else. So as long as the steam has about like 25 in there, this this handles the spikes. This will handle all the spikes in our in our pollution. Oh, uh, I just realized that we may not have oil going up there anymore. Actually, no, we're fine. We don't. We definitely don't have it now. But is this petroleum? This is totally petroleum. 
Oh, I actually don't need oil. Oh, I have the oil going through the base. That's why. Is it seriously? Where, yeah, that's where it's getting it from. And it, I, I made it go through the base. So this crude oil line that I had, I no longer need it because the wall will protect us now. Uh, I put my faith in the wall. So actually this line right here, I was just like, I was building around this being like so cautious. Uh, yeah, we don't need it anymore. Good times. Uh, I'm not sure about, yeah, this one has its own little system, but yeah, it's, it's fine. Like we don't actually need this one anymore really either, but we'll just keep that there just in case. So yeah, the, the boilers is what makes the pollution, not the steam engines. So if we work this out in a way where, oh, hey, we got steam engines running off of these containers, uh, we're pretty good. Uh, so this will just use more steam whenever is required. Um, and then the boilers just work as it, just slightly harder to just make sure those are f full. And then that's it. Um, I, I kind of just like the way this works out. Now, I'm not sure if that the, like it will have issues getting to the end here. It says here performance is nada. Oh, uh, they're not even hooked up to the line. Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta make sure that they're hooked up. So by disconnecting some other stuff, I've actually disconnected this. There you go, now they're going. I'm actually gonna make sure that there's a, a large power pole coming here. Yeah, so that's just one of those things you gotta take. You gotta be careful of. So yeah, the, the steam is only one way, only goes in, in one, through one way. Okay, and there you go. We now have 120 steam engines hooked up to our network, uh, but they're not necessarily generating steam all the time. Now, one one thing that we can do that's kind of cool, that uh, would be neat to do, is actually an early warning system. Uh, we'll do that real quick and then we'll, we'll peace out. So it would be nice to know if we ever run out of, uh, of steam, we get a warning about it. Cause we don't want to, these are kinds of like important things to know when there's a problem somewhere. So we get a, we get a programmable speaker. I'm going to fix that in just a sec. And then by the way, next time I'll, uh, next time I'll do the, um, uh, I'll, I'm going to finish the wall, believe it or not. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to pretty much just do damage upgrades. So, uh, so we're going to say if steam is less than, I don't know, 20k, um, global playback, show alert, steam, steam is low. And I don't know what kind of alert. Okay, we do that. And if I if I inverse it, this is how it's gonna look, and that's gonna warn me whenever the steam is low. So that we can just leave that now. It's actually we're done with that. That's the system we have. And so if there's any sort of steam issue, if it drops below 20k in those, because right now how much is in there? I think it was like uh, 25k. Yeah, it's 25k in there. If it drops below that at any point, it's fine. So. And in my humble opinion, this amount of steam engines for just running the factory normally is perfect right now. Um, and it's going to use a little bit more coal here and there, but yeah. And then if I want to, I can get more down there, but it's just, it's absolutely perfect. And the priority splitter, amazing. Amazing priority splitters. I love that shit so much now. So let's go just repair this real quick. So there's probably some issues around here, but... um. Is there some reason why? Because we don't have any things repairing. Yeah. So, so for next time we're going to finish. Um, I'm going to finish up the wall. Um, no reason not to. And also, by the way, there's a water thing coming down here now that I don't. I never. I actually didn't need at any point. But you know, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do anything about that. So yeah, we're gonna finish the wall. We're gonna make a wall outside the outside the base here, and then uh, yeah. So I'm only doing damage upgrades. Uh, so I'm just skipping all the boring shit, which is just me building walls. I'm just, as I said, I'm trying to show you more of the interesting crap. Uh, interesting to me, I guess. Anyway, we can make this a little bit more efficient, actually.
Ah, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll just... I'm gonna remove this one line, because now there's, there's simply not enough uh, iron coming through here anymore. Uh, we don't need this crap anymore. This iron patch is, like, almost done. So, yeah, so we're gonna do that. You know, there's actually one more thing I should do. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna do one more thing. Fuck you. Um, hopefully I have some editing points somewhere. Other otherwise, I may have just made this into a double 30-minute... I just made this into a double 30-minute episode, didn't I? We need cement, actually. Um, we need cement being made. Um, unfortunately, we only have this box, but that's okay. Alright, so these can, these are done. We are no longer making walls. This is fine. Uh, we don't need any more walls, we don't need these. We don't need this coal. I could have the box, actually. Uh... Oh, you know what we can do? Uh, shit. Alright, I have an idea. You guys wanna see some cool ass shit? So, with the new splitters... You now have output priority, left, filter, stone. Alright. Alright, alright. And then we have this one. Output priority, uh, output priority left as well. Filter for that. And then this just goes onto the main line. Easy peasy. Lemon something. I need to hook this up again to power. So yeah, these guys are all done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of cement uh, stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda just have, I uh, guess we're gonna, and I know I'm horrible at like keeping track of this crap, but whatever. Uh, I may need to double side that one actually. Um, all right, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna have a. Uh, where is it? I have a assembly machine. This is gonna have water in there. All right. Well, it, it needs water, but basically, to make cement, cement's actually a very valuable thing for us, right here. We're gonna make con sorry, come on, concrete, not cement necessarily. Um, so yeah, that's that. Also, I have absolutely no idea which is the one that um, that goes down here because we can just rip that one right up. Alright, that's the one. Fuck it, let's destroy that first. I mean, we could actually just hook it into the cement, actually, for now. So this is the water that used to go down here. I mean, we could keep it here, just in case we decide to make the boilers again. But I don't think that's actually happening, because I actually know my... my limitations this game. I know how to do this. So... We actually probably won't need it. Oh yeah, okay. We'll just plug into that one then, that's fine. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking fine. Alright, there you go. So, it's gonna go over here. Where, where's this water going? Uh, that's, that's that one, that one's for these steam engines, so. These are both steam engine related, basically. I don't think it's gonna matter if I leech off of that too much. So, but you can tell it requires stone bricks. Fuck. So we do need stone bricks. All right, we lost. I I, I just ripped up this whole system I had here in place. Also, what the fuck? Oh, because this the thing the thing's full. All right. Um. Yeah, we just super lost actually. Uh, because I, I I completely had the material backwards for this. Uh, but that's okay. Because uh, we can just make another. Two steel furnaces. It's still, it's still, it's still good. It's still good. Just uh, have to stop being bad at video games. My bad. My bad. So we'll do something like this. Um. I'm gonna hate my life. Okay, we do something like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're still good. 
And we have this guy be the uh, cement maker. All right. Okay, and put it directly into here. It also gets the water it needs. Yeah, I, I actually don't know why I did it like this. Okay, and then also it needs some iron ore. Um, the thing is about iron ore is that's like kind of simple to get over here. I mean, we can we could probably just take it off this line, honestly. Um, I mean, that's the that's the more permanent solution. Uh, well, a permanent ish. Because, obviously, uh, not going to be something that does this forever. I don't want this to be one of those situations where, like, the entire base becomes unpowered. Alright, so we're going to actually make a small chest. And we're going to fill that up with uh, the resources that it needs. So it will take whatever it needs to. It actually, it doesn't make concrete actually incredibly fast, believe it or not. And then we're going to give it a nice iron chest. I wish I could have an iron chest, but apparently I can't. Actually, steel chest is good, because uh, we may have a lot of concrete. We kind of need all this concrete. Um, this is also something we can use for the ground as well, but yeah, it's also, it's, it's all good. So I can also, if I want to, um, I can put some of the bricks into the uh, into this machine as well. Um, if this starts running out, which it actually might. Uh, oh, that's why I have an extra one. Also, I still see stone. I, I still see some stone here. What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually quite tap into all this, so that's good for me. So what we can also do is we can also just like uh, give it some more. Yeah, probably not the worst idea I've ever had. Remember, we can we're gonna eventually tap into the stone patch here, which it looks like they've expanded again. But we're we're kind of tired of that, dealing with that. So we're gonna have to go over there and show them, a, teach them a lesson. But yeah, so this is gonna basically just make concrete the entire time. Uh, honestly, I don't think I need to really do anything else with this. So. Oh, we already have 60. This way we just, we leave it alone, we don't care. How much does it require for water? 100 units. I think it'll be fine. So, let's have a look at our steam engine layout here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good shit there. And, like, the coal, as you can see, is actually just completely moving all the time. Um, which is not... That's, that's obviously not the best thing in the world for me, because, uh, I'm gonna need more steam engines, that mean, uh, sorry, more, more coal, but it's basically where it was before, we're just using, we're utilizing less boilers, um, I, you know what, and so, with that, I guess I'll leave you off on the, the fruits of our labor from before, so we'll see how the petroleum, petroleum is now completely and utterly full. And as I said, luckily, because of the way we did it with the circuit network, we now actually have some heavy oil and light oil being stored. And if we go over here, uh, there isn't any problem with this stuff. It actually, it's just plastic is completely filled up. Um, sulfuric acid is filled up too, so. We were done with oil processing for now, so. Oh, this place uh, got hit again. All right, so next episode, I'm going to have completed the wall. The wall is going to be completely done all the way around the base. I'm going to turn off this pollution because it's obviously just a red mess. Uh, just, it's going to be done. And I'm probably, I, I may actually plug in that copper ore into, into this line. Uh, I may do that actually. So we're, I'm just going to do some fixes and stuff as well uh, before I resume with you guys. But I should not be doing any research besides uh, the things I need to. Um, apparently there's not enough... Iron coming down, which I can understand that because it's like making a ton of gears. Yeah, so like flamethrower turrets, these turrets are having, okay, fine, I lied. Uh, the research I'm gonna do is probably fluid wagons. I'll let this build up a bit again. We, we're gonna need maybe another uh, iron line, um, but I was kind of hoping to wait on that to be honest, but I think I may not be able to. 
Yeah, because this is now uh, a problem as well. So we're going to have to make another iron line as well. And guess what? We have iron right here. We just have to make another stop and two more trains. Because usually what happens is they come over here and they're waiting anyways. You make two more trains and uh, they're good. So you just make another iron stop here. We just need to make another furnace somewhere. Where to make the furnace? I do not know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead kind of so you guys don't have to see any of this stuff. I don't think you care because I don't care either about it really so it's all good it is all good all right so thanks a lot for tuning in guys um, and also just one more thing I guess I'll show you is that hey look everything has light oil in the, in this base so it's fine uh, but it's obviously not a permanent solution because they're getting hit by things over here because it's just, it's a minor pollution cloud. So they're now inviting biter attacks. But luckily we have stuff there now, so. And also, yeah, we're going to eventually work on the long-term solution for repairing our bases here. So it's always nice how those things just speed it, speed over there. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.